this one's not as much of a question, more of a discussion. Um, let's try to compare residential life versus online life. Like we have a diversity in our panel here between residential and online, Angela and Alina being uh, residential and then Shashank and Anna being online. So let's try to compare like the class rigor, the admissions chances, um, the student life there, the opportunities you get there, how you can schedule around your classes and extracurriculars to make some free time. Um, let's let's go with let, let's hear from the online students first. Let's let's hear from Shashank. Yeah, so okay, hopefully the this is still working now with me uh, uh, with the video on. But um so first to clear up any misconceptions of how the online program actually works. So um online uh, unlike residential, uh, if you're in SSM online, you still go to your base school, uh, generally full time. So that's what I did uh, junior year and, and, and now. So I'm still going to Green Hope full time, taking all my classes. And I take one or two extra classes per semester through the online program. Um, and they're supplemental. So I take them, uh, like they're, they're scheduled for different times. Um, we have classes once a week. Um, for each specific course. So like right now, uh, this, semester, this past semester, I just finished. Uh, I took two classes. I took a neuroscience class and a computational chemistry class. Uh, one of them met on Mondays, every Monday for an hour. The other one met uh, every Thursday for an hour. Um, so that's like how it is in terms of scheduling it. Um, in terms of class rigor, it really depends on the class that you're taking. Um, so uh, for in junior year and this year, I'm, I'm taking like all of the computational science classes and um, those are generally regarded as the most rigorous uh, NCS, uh, online courses um, that you can take. I, I can't really speak for the residential uh, class rigor, so I'll leave, leave that up to them. But um, I do know like compared to my neuroscience course, the difference in rigor uh, was the astronomical. The neuroscience was uh, the amount of work that we had to do was very little compared to the computational science courses. So. It really just depends on what you're taking there. Um, but they, the classes will give you homework that you have to complete um, every week and uh, submit back to your teachers for grading. And yes, uh, SSM Online also gives you their own transcript. Um, so maintaining a high grade in these courses is pretty important because they, uh, you can submit these transcripts to colleges uh, and that would be like a good thing if you're taking a supplementary course. Um, that's all I really have. Oh, and, and if you want to talk more about that and I guess about student life and how we can meet up maybe online weekends, things like that. Um, yeah, I definitely, like you said, the computational courses are, I found to be a lot more rigorous than some of the others I've taken. Um, but as far as student life, even though we are all in line, I've kind of found that there's a lot of um, just community building with just through like group chats or we meet up on weekends um, for those online weekends. It's not as awkward as you would think because we've had this contact throughout the semester, depending on um, how we've either like worked throughout the class or supported each other. So it seems more like you're meeting up with friends you've already known than people you have only seen through a computer. Um, I know at one point I had uh, made friends with someone in which I had brought them a kitten one weekend because I had kittens to give. And just having those connections was kind of interesting as far as meeting new experiences and knowing what was offered. So as far as student life goes, I found that to be something that I've enjoyed almost more than the classes. Um, that's just what I found. Awesome, let's shift over to residential. Let's go to Angela. Okay, I, I think I'm not 100% sure for just touching on class rigor and student life. So I think I'll go over that first and then uh, jump back to the rest. But as for class rigor, um, there's five classes per semester. Oh, I think that might be a change for instance, SM since they used to do trimesters, but there's five classes, core classes that you can take every single semester. And then there's also um, a few elective classes. I think you can take up to three each semester as well, but those don't actually count into your, your GPA. And then uh, you can also overload to take an extra core class to take six of them uh, if you'd like to do that as well. So that's um, how the classes are set up. Uh, I would say for me this semester, I didn't take any chemistry or physics classes. 
So uh, I know those departments tend to be one of the hardest ones. And CSSM, uh, I took more of bio classes. So I think that helped my class or my workload to be a little bit better, but it definitely is a big change. Even though I came from Enlo in which our classes tend to be pretty rigorous as well. I would say a lot of my classes require a lot more dedication um, and studying and notes and paying attention in classes. So I would say it, the classes definitely tend to be um, tend to be more rigorous and you have professors that are really dedicated to your work though. Um, so that's that for classes. Uh, for student life, I'll touch briefly on that. Uh, it's obviously very different from online since we lived there. I do think that the student life at NCSSM, there are pros and cons, but I would say the memories that I've made there so far definitely outweigh the, the cons. Since you spend your entire day with these people, whereas in a normal high school, you would you would stop seeing them at like 2 p.m. Um, you spend the entire day, like up to like 12 in the morning with these people. Uh, every single day you form some friendships that I think uh, I wouldn't have been able to form at my old high school where you're really, really close with them, some of these people. Um, and although you're surrounded by like people working, so it does get stressful a lot. I think you make a lot of memories on campus. There's also a lot of like hall activities and uh, school-wide events that make, I think, student life there really worthwhile. Great, awesome. Let's go to Alina. Um, yeah, Angela got a lot of what I wanted to say, but so for like student life, um, I just wanna like, completely agree what she says. Um, I think a lot of why I chose to come to NCSSM was for the community and the experiences um, because it is very much like college in that you live there and it can be kind of like a bubble sometimes, but it's also so nice that you can just like, if you meet someone cool, you can be like, hey, do you want to get dinner to get today? And like, um, because we all live there, it's like, you definitely get to know people really fast. Um, and I really like it because it's like kind of a more gradual transition to college. So instead of it being like super abrupt, like you go to high school, you live at home, you get out of school at two, and then you like go to college where you're like maybe completely alone 10 hours away. You have like this kind of transition. And um, that goes for like all of these, not just student life. I, I see NCSSM residential as like um, a transition, like from high school to college. It's like, a, like kind of a mix of the two. Um, for opportunities um, for residential students and I think um, online students, there's a program called um, SRIP, which is over the summer. And um, you come to the NCSSM campus and you're able to conduct research. Um, for residential students, there's also a few more opportunities. Like there are the research and science programs where you spend a year long um, doing research as like independent research under the guidance of one of the teachers here. Um, and there's like mentorship where you um, are mentored by like a professor at UNC or Duke. Um, so that's like a lot of info that you don't really need to worry about. But I would just say research is a super, super big thing at NCSSM and um, there's so many opportunities for it. So I think that's like also a really good reason to consider coming and applying. Um, and then also recently, um, there's been a bill passed that says that NCSSM residential students have, um, they can go to UNC with free tuition and um, we're automatically admitted if we have a 3.5 weighted GPA, which is really nice because um, a lot of our classes are like a 5.0 weighted GPA. So it's definitely another thing to consider.